All right, now we are in energy and conservation of energy. First of all, we talk about energy. What is energy? Okay, uh, energy is the ability to do work. Okay, before this, we have learned about work done. Okay, work done. Okay, before this, we learn about work done. Okay, when somebody does the work, energy is transferred either into the object or transferred out of the object. Uh, okay, so when there is a work done, there must be energy transfer. Uh, for example, like work done on the system, energy is transferred into the system. Uh, when uh, the work done by the system or the system do work, then actually energy transferred out of the system. Uh, so when there is a work done, there must be transfer of energy between two uh, between two entity. Okay. Uh, so back to energy. Uh, look, for example, this person he has the chemical energy of one thousand joule. That's why he has the ability to do work. Okay. Uh, he has the ability to do work if without this uh, energy uh, chemical energy in the body it cannot do any work to pull the object in this direction to pull the object to the right he must have this energy of 1000 joule then only he able to pull the object to the right yeah so uh, energy is ability to do work so when this person start to do work by pulling on the object uh, so now when so when this person uh, try to do work on this object like pulling this object to the right yeah like this direction of the force to the right okay so energy start to transfer into the object uh, so when you do work on the object there is there is actually energy transfer in the process okay so for example like this person he pulled this object to the right direction of the force to the right uh, the, the object has the velocity to the right okay so uh, this uh, this kind of work done will help to transfer energy from the person into the object as a result this object will gain gain energy the kinetic energy of this object will increase uh, and also this object since it has the velocity to the right Okay, since this object has the uh, velocity, means this object also possess kinetic energy. Uh, so we assume, let's say, this object has kinetic energy of hundred kilo, uh, hundred joule. Okay, so this this object has the kinetic energy of hundred joule. This is also uh, the energy. This object has the velocity to the right. Okay, that means this object possess kinetic energy. Okay. So since this object possesses kinetic energy, means this object also has ability to do work. So what kind of uh, work uh, is done by this object? Uh, so you see, this uh, this road is a rough has a rough surface, isn't it? Uh, maybe this is a sand. Yeah, the, this block moved through a sand. Okay, uh, just right. Yeah, it's a rough surface. Uh, so this object can do work also because it has kinetic energy yeah this object has a velocity so it has a kinetic energy okay since it has kinetic energy means it has the ability to do work so what kind of work done can be done by this object uh, the work done uh, by this object by this system is to overcome the frictional force okay so this object also has the ability to do work to overcome yeah, to overcome the frictional force uh, of the rough surface okay so when this object do work yeah uh, do work to overcome the frictional force it loses energy or we can say energy out energy out of the object yeah it loses energy so as a result the kinetic energy of this object will decrease okay uh, so in short, what I can say is this person he has a chemical energy of hundred of thousand joule, so he can do work. He has the ability to do work to pull on the object. So there is an energy transferred into the object to make this object travel to the right uh, uh, faster and faster. 
yeah when energy go into the object so the kinetic energy of this object increase uh, we can say this is a, a positive work done okay a result in energy kinetic energy increase okay this work done on the object now uh, we can say this is a, a work done okay i can write over here something uh, do you see that work done on system work done on system energy transferred uh, from the human into the object so the kinetic energy of this object will increase okay uh, but at the same time this uh, object also has the velocity uh, since it has the velocity means this object also has its own kinetic energy okay its own kinetic energy he's able he's also this object also able to do work uh, able to do work to overcome the friction to go through the frictional force okay so uh, we can say this system can do work or we can say work done by system okay work done by system to overcome the frictional force so when this object do work yeah since it has the ability to do work because it has a kinetic energy so since this object start to do work it loses kinetic energy uh, it loses kinetic energy so the kinetic energy of this object will decrease because of the to overcome the frictional force uh, so there is a uh, energy in energy out uh, okay so this this will uh, when uh, about this energy in energy out this transfer of energy is called the process of work done and the energy that contained in the human or in the object is the ability for this kind of energy transfer or ability to do work okay uh, ability to do work or ability to transfer uh, ability to transfer energy uh, i think it's clear enough yeah ability to do work or ability to transfer energy okay energy energy is actually the ability to transfer energy if you have energy if you have energy of course you can transfer energy if you don't have energy if you don't have energy you can't transfer anything yeah you have no energy to transfer uh, okay so this is about uh, energy and work. All right. Uh, next, we will move on to the types of energy.